Hi, I'm Steve Gill with your daily video notes for June 7, 2011. Well, the top news story of the week is Anthony Wienergate as the congressman comes clean and admits that he lied. He actually did send photos of his private parts to women he didn't even know to at least six of them around the country. And now the photos and the women are coming forth with details. Three things you need to know about this story. First, it's far from over. There will be more women, there will be more photos, there will be more details released. Just ask Tiger Woods how this plays out over the next several days as more and more pieces of this puzzle will continue to drip forth, drip, 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 right on the head of Anthony Weiner. Second, it's important to note that Congress isn't even in Washington this week. They're out in their districts listening to constituents, and you can bet they're getting an earful about uh, Wienergate. They'll be back in Washington on Monday. Then you're going to see the media have all the members of Congress in one place where they can stick their microphones in face after face after face, asking them what they think about Wienergate. Third, this ethics probe that Nancy Pelosi has called for, effectively throwing Anthony Weiner under the bus, will not play out for months. So about the time that the last of the women, the last of the photos have sort of dissipated into public consciousness, after the Congress has had their time to talk about it, comment about it, maybe try to push Anthony Weiner aside, if he's decided to hang on, a few months from now, we're all going to get a resurgence of these stories as the Health Ethics Committee will have their results. It'll make the story new news yet again as we roll even more into an election year. This is bad news for the Democrats on every front, which is why guys like Ed Schultz are calling for Weiner to resign. Not because he's concerned with what Anthony Weiner's done, you know, the corruption, the lies, the, the unethical behavior. Oh, all that's just par for the course for the Democrats. The reason Ed Schultz is calling on him to resign is he knows it's going to hurt his Democrats. That's why he's actually saying, resign, go away, Anthony, then run for re-election again in 2012 and you can come back. Ed Schultz isn't really concerned with what Anthony Weiner's done or about a guy he is. He's concerned that it's going to hurt the Democrats. So he wants to push him off the front pages of the newspaper now and then let him slip back into the game in just a few more months. That's not going to work. It's not going to help the Democrats to push him aside and then have him come back. It's certainly not going to help the Democrats for him to remain in the news for the next several weeks and months as we roll into the next election year. This is a bad news story for the Democrats, worse news for Anthony Weiner, and I don't think he makes it till Friday. If he does survive the weekend onslaught of the weekend Sunday television shows, he'll be gone by early next week. We'll see how it plays out. But in the meantime, it's a story that's not going to go away gently or quietly. Sort of like Anthony Weiner. He's loud, he's obnoxious, he's brash, and he's going to be in your face for the next couple of weeks at least. I'm Steve Gill. You can get the latest details, read more about the women who are coming forth, the photos that are coming forth at gillreport.com in the Daily Notes.